Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Game, and we are returning to our Let's Play of Victoria 3, playing the North German Federation, aka Prussia. We are still waiting for our infamy to cool down a little bit so that once we go to war against Austria and not all of the other European powers, France and Russia in particular, are going to jump against us. So in the meantime, we're building up our economy. I think that's still a good idea. And I was thinking about what we could do to boost our growth significantly. We're still earning a little bit of surplus here. That's only because we're not using all of our building capacity. We're going to do that, of course. So what could we be doing to really get that going and, and get much, much, much more growth? I think there are a couple of things. Um, first of all, we need to make more money. One of the things that we could do to make more money is increase our taxation. That would give us quite a bit more money. It does increase radicals, and we do have a lot of radicals, but I do think it's still a better choice. So, you know what? We are going to do that. I dislike that, especially due to the radicals from standard of living decreases. We're also going to do one more thing. Our armed forces currently like us, plus 14. I think what we can do is we can decrease their wages a little bit. Yes, it means less wages. Yes, it means less uh, training rate. It means less income on other aspects. But you know what? It's also going to give us a little bit more money. That's already a fairly significant boost over here. And pretty straightforward at that. But here's the other thing. One of our best incomes is investment pool transfers. Investment pool transfers currently come because we have interventionalism. These guys uh, mainly come from capital. I think at least. There's no way, as far as I can tell, to see how much of that money is actually coming from aristocrats and capitalists, but capitalists do give us a lot more money off their dividends uh, to invest back into our economy, and I kind of like that mechanic. So what can we be doing? Uh, also, sorry, just the other thing, how we could, or why I think that's true, is we do have a lot more aristocrats than we have capitalists, 200,000 instead of 150,000, but these guys are have a lot more money. Average yearly income per pop, 65, over here just 30. So that's why I believe most of our money should be coming from capitalists. So yeah, that's good. Most of our money is coming from capitalists, largely due to the fact that the industrialists like us a lot. They like us more than 10%, oh sorry, more than a value of 10. So that gives us plus 10% on that. I think one of the ways that we could boost that is if we could make the industrialists a little bit more attractive to everyone. If we could get more industrialists and get them over an approval rating of 20, I believe they would count as powerful and that would double this bonus and that would give us 20% more investment pool and that might give us 50,000 more investment pool transfer to invest in our industry. That would be great. Let's try to do that. Now, we can't really change the ownership of a lot of our buildings. That's something that you can do later. So, nothing much that we can do there. I think the only way that we can do anything about these guys is to bolster them. We need 200 authority to do that. We're currently using that largely, I think, due to decrease. Which decrease are we using? Um, there must be some road maintenance in Anhalt here. We can cancel that. And I do believe that we're going to cancel the encouraged manufacturing industry here. That was also a stopgap measure. Oh, we're also using road maintenance in Hesse here. So, that gives us more than enough here uh, to actually go back to our industrialists and increase their attractiveness. Maybe that's going to push them over 20% in the, sh in the midterm. That would be great. Also, let's build more industry. That should also give us a big boost there. If we do look at the market here, we can see that one of the issues here is there's a lot of consumer goods, but steel is also pretty expensive. And steel is a problem because steel is used in so many other industries, including, for example, our motor industries here which you can see are struggling because we don't have enough steel. We only have one place where we really have a significant steel mill that is in Westphalia, so sort of the rural area in Germany, very historical. Um, and they're producing that and, and they're being increased here. So that's great, but I don't think that's gonna be sufficient. Um, you can see we have a deficit of 660 here. That's not gonna be enough. We're gonna produce like 500 more here. So that's A, not enough, and B, in Westphalia, it's one of the few states here where we don't really have any peasants, we don't have very a lot of unemployed people, so we're going to struggle to hire enough people in our steel mill. Um, truth to be told, most of these people are actually going to come from the urban center, but let's see what we can do down here to um, increase availability of workforces a little bit. I think one of the things that we could do is get public trams here. For some reason, in self personal transformation, uh, personal transportation that is requiring fewer people. 
It's also going to give us a small boost here in transportation. Um, it is going to cost us some money, but I think it's going to be worth it. So let's do that. Um, I think on the iron mines here, we're doing fine. On the sulfur mines, though, we could do rail transportation. That's going to use some of the transportation that we just established. But it's also going to free up some laborers. I think the same can be true for the logging camps. So if we just unfold it for a second, yeah, 13,000 unemployed people. It's going to be something. I think that's not going to be enough to fill five steel mills. But you know what, we're getting there. So I think that's good. Rye farms, you do use tools. We might cancel some of these areas here. But yeah. Even that is not going to give us enough steel, uh, A, and B, we probably need more steel to grow in the future, right? So let's go ahead and go to Alsace Loire. I don't think there are many other places where we could establish that anywhere, right? So steel industry, it doesn't really matter where you place them as long as it's sort of concentrated in few places. Uh, we could build that up in Hesse, we could that build that up anywhere. Uh, but unlike Alsace Loire, they do have a large pool of peasants. Yes, they could be used in mines, which is useful. We could place it anywhere else, really. Saxony is a good choice, but you know what? I think Alsace Loire is it's kind of historical that that would be a steel place. So, you know what? Let's build that up uh, kind of significantly here, too. 10 steel mills, probably a little bit much. You know what? Let's, let's go down to 5. Let's start a little bit more humbly here, uh, but I do think that's going to be a good choice going forward. Yeah, I like that. Now, are you using all of the latest processes? You're not. You know what? Let's use the water because otherwise I'm going to forget later on. Are we using that in uh, Westphalia? I would hope that we do, right? Yes, we do. Okay, perfect. So that's going to boost our steel industry. Now, of course, the steel industry is not going to come for free. That is going to use coal tools and so on. Um, and coals, we are already suffering a huge shortage. So let's go to Silesia. Let's build up the coal industries here um, and uh, become a little bit better. Now, one of the issues is that we have few people here uh, left over anyway, 20,000 people. Um, I think our coal industries are using around 1,500, I want to say. Yeah, kind of 4,600 people per mine. So we don't really have that much. We can build that up by five or so. But again, if we go down here and go to the rail transportation, we could be using a lot less laborers, 45,000, if we were to use more transportation. We have a little bit of a negative um, shortage here as well, but you know what? Let's do that. That should give us a lot more people that we can use, so let's build that up by, you know what? Let's say an another 20. I think that's going to be fine. And probably means we need at least two railways. Oh, speaking of railways, I think if we go down here, look at these railways, we could also go for the... Yeah, that is also going to give us a couple of more people. It's not a lot, but it's going to give us a little bit more transportation, a little bit more wood usage. Eh, doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, let's free up some people. It's going to also decrease the infrastructure, and that means we will need to build another railway or two down here as well. Okay, that should uh, fill up the building quite a bit. Yeah, a lot of things are creeping up right now. As per usual... Railway is going to be prioritized simply so that um, things are going to go fine there. Right. Let's resume the game. Um, so you can see that we have a lot of surplus here in money. And you know what that means? That means we need more building capacity. I think we can build up some stuff in Alsace, right? We don't have a lot of construction sector here. Yeah. Let's build up a couple of guys here. Basically, I don't want to do that because we're probably yeah we are going to build a little bit more in this failure but for now i think we are experiencing a shortage there anyway so we could go for you guys down here or berlin how's berlin looking construction sector you know what i think berlin is is gonna do fine with more construction as well and you know what saxony in the long run we're also going to use a lot more buildings there. And the reason I'm building that anywhere, uh, sorry, there and not just anywhere, is because it does give you a little bit of a benefit in building a little bit faster. It's not extreme, but it is it is a good thing to, to be doing. Right, let's prioritize these things so that they get on the top of the quay and that we have some idea here about what the money is going to do. Right, <laughs> let's look at a couple of things here. High tensions, we don't care. States in turmoil. I don't think we care, but here's the thing. We did increase taxation, so I think one of the things that we should do in turn is get law enforcement to be a lot better. 
That's going to decrease the radicals from standard of living decreases, which we just increased because uh, we were increasing taxes. And it's going to lower the impact of turmoil as well. So yeah, I think that's going to be a good choice. And I'm guessing some education would be nice too. But we need to be a little bit mindful about our bureaucracy. Now we can always learn a little bit more in terms of state buildings. But yeah, let's do that. Uh, speaking of education, um, I was looking at our colonies down here. You can see coffee plantations are struggling to hire enough, enough people, especially aristocrats. So I think it might make some sense uh, to build a university here. It's a bit weird to be building a university in your colonies, but you know what? It's it's all of the institutions that you've got there. Right, oil explosion in Alsace. We could go for more radicalists, but more approval of the industrialists. I like that. Trade unions would be very lovely too to get um, going in the long term because they have got very, very strong bonuses. Or rural folk. No, we don't care about rural folk. You know what? We're going to go with the industrialists because we are hoping that they do provide the growth that we need in the long term. Right. Um, we've got a shortage here of dye. We need to take care of that. Saxony and Ottoman Empire is do have some obligations that might be expiring. Okay. Let's take a look then at Northern German Federation. At the German Federation. So, if we were to be launching that, we'd be facing Austria, baden Krakow, a couple of other places that we don't really care about. A couple of places could remain neutral. France and Russia at least are not actively going against us right now. I'm wondering why the Ottomans... Why we don't have the, options, uh, the option of the Ottomans joining and I'm guessing that's because you don't have any interest in our area the Rhine area you have interest in the Rhine area but do you have interest in the Austrian area which area is that actually Balkans you should be able to join would you be able to join That's all of the countries that are in the area. We could force the Ottomans to be joining in on us. But I'm very concerned about Russia and I'm very concerned about France. But it would be such a big boost. How are we looking in terms of technology? I think the idea at least was to go for trench infantry first. Six years. You know what? We're going to play a little bit more conservative here. Six years. 1860. It's not, a, not an early date at any means, but... It's also not going to be super bad. Okay, we're importing stuff from Denmark here. Men of Wars. I don't think we need that anymore because we have more uh, better stuff, basically. Westphalia, that's uh, going to solve itself. Opium, yeah, we know that. Tools, wood, and dice, I think, are just okay now. But we will need to be looking at tool uh, the tool industry in, in the short term, I guess. But yeah. Okay, we are making, we are losing some money now, but that seems fine. And we'll need to take care of some of these things, right? So railway in Westphalia, that's going to be finished soon. That should get rid of this uh, bonus or, or malice here, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Fine, fantastic. Tools and wood is a big issue, though. And we have finished all of the things that we started to build, so that's great. And yeah, let's uh, then take a look at tools. So tool industry... Where are we? Come on. Doing workshops. I think most of them are in the Rhineland. Yeah. No, sorry, in Rhineland, not in the North Rhine. Makes some sense. 40,000 peasants down here. Let's get five more going. That is going to use more infrastructure. Oh, we don't even have a railway down here. Well, that's lovely. Then, yeah, let's do build that. Uh, what's the actual deficit that we are facing here? thousand so we need 15 more basically mm, probably probably we will need a railway down here yeah 
I guess that's fine. Well, there's all. You know what? I wish there was a button that where you could uh, plop down something and it would become. It would get on the top of the um, of the building creep instead of at the bottom. I think it's going to be alright though. We're losing some money, but that's okay. It's not good culture. Industrialists have complained about the subsistence farm in North German South Cameroon. North German South Cameroon. I like that name. Uh, yeah, that doesn't make a lot of sense. So. More migration attraction. I like that. Yeah, more migration attraction is great. Industrialists. Yeah, you're now sitting at 20%. And our bonus here has increased to 20%. So that's great. 74,000 investment pool transfer. I like that. It's not as much as I would have hoped. But it is certainly a good number. So, yeah, I very much appreciate that. How are our steel industries looking? You're hiring people. But at least the price here for steel is decreasing a little bit that's good iron is bad and i'm pausing here just so that the building creed doesn't finish um coal increased increased all of these input factors are increased significantly what are these tool factories using anyway ha <laughs> you're using steel okay that makes sense and wood wood ex is extremely expensive okay we need to take care of wood it's not the first time though, but still. Okay, Anhalt. You're getting some. Alsace could be built up, but only to level 17. What's the max level that we can build? Where would it be efficient? Now, it would be extremely great if we had Baden and uh, Württemberg, because these guys have the Black Forest. So that would give us a benefit there. But it doesn't seem to be for us. Okay, you know what? Let's build these guys up down here. Infrastructure should still be fine. We didn't even have a railway. You know what? I like to build railways just because we do have. Uh, just because, <coughs> excuse me, it makes a lot of sense. It's, it's nicer when all of your country is connected. When you've got these little things rolling through here with their coal and their sulfur and their iron. I like that. It's nice. But there seems to be a play. And again, it's so subtle that suddenly all of these things here pop up and it's just, okay, here there is a diplomatic play that we almost missed because of that. So Russia against China, is it? You're being supported by Tibet and Finland, respectively. I mean, I would lean to support Russia, but we're not actively doing so. And Russia is not sending any... Any sort of go-with-us proposal here. By the way, um, how far are we in... Excuse me. How far are we in including Alsace? Didn't I hit that? Oh, did you cancel that because of the bureaucracy? I'm sure I've hit that button before. That is interesting. I'm guessing we need some government buildings. You know what? Brandenburg as the capital. It just makes a lot of thematic sense. Of course, there's no specific point in building that there, but hmm, might as well. And again, because that's a little bit of a priority, let's do build that up fast I did not know that that could be cancelled but oh my there we go how's our infrastructure looking kind of okay using a lot of money burning a lot of money but we are investing that so I like that keep an eye on the situation here coffee yeah, coffee is kind of okay. Glass is something that we could be building up. I think we have that in Saxony. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, speaking of infrastructure, 20. Do you have railways? You do. Let's build them up anyway. Oh, there's an event. The Ripper, the gruesome murders. The journal newspapers report a series of horrific murders in Hesse. 
According to the article, the police are powerless. Look at that. Start an event chain, which is always a good thing to be looking at. If we have the police institutions, that would be good. Urbanized is also something that we should be looking at in the short, in, in the midterm, in the long term, rather. Baking powder for food industries. That would use more sugar. If we don't really have a lot of sugar, but I think we are also chronically short on groceries. And it's always nice if we were to be able to to increase that a little bit. Um, I think in Posen we have our main food industries. Yeah, let's do that. It's going to use more grain, which is good. The only real problem is sugar consumption. We don't have a lot of places that produce sugar, is, is the issue. Furniture manufacturing is small in production trends. Oh. Well, that's really good. Service industry is throughput. Bureaucracy is looking fine. Is that because we cancelled it already? No, we did not. I think it's because we finished some stuff there. Trade unionists. Um, no. I would like to keep the approval of the industrialists going because they are what gives us money. Um, speaking of money, our construction crew is almost empty. Or at least we can build more stuff, so that's always good. And how are we looking in terms of growth? Yeah, you can see, you can almost, you know, I imagine that you can see that our growth has become faster here. GDP per capita, we are now number one in the world. That's great. We're still number three in terms of, no, oh, in terms of overall GDP. Oh, I wanted to have this. Sometimes the game is just picking the wrong thing here. Okay. We are closing up to France. 14 million gap there still. But it does seem to be much better than it was before. Okay, so where do we have shortages? Small arms. Iron. And iron is actually underestimated because we're not using everything here. How is it looking in Silesia then? Yeah, we have very few unemployed people. Some of these places do not add have enough people in their staffing. You know what? We're going to decrease the arms industry here. Because we can right now. Employment here is a little bit too worse anyway let's do go for public terms it's going to give us a few more people coal mines we are kind of using everything that we can to get more people going e anyway can use rail transport here that mines yeah you know what let's do use everything that we have just so that we really can find out how many people do we have in silesia We've got 50,000 unemployed people now. And our uh, infrastructure usage is fine. We could go with fewer barracks and stuff like that. Urban center is still hiring people at around 10,000. So that means we really have 40,000 people that we can get into more productive work. Or any work at all, really. So, how many people are we using here? I think three and a half thousand per pe per level, right? Yeah, right about. And I was saying 40,000. So that's at least 10 more, let's say 15 more. They will use 30 more, so we do need to increase the railway too. And coal is always going to be useful, so it it just makes sense to fill that up. As, as fast as we can. Ooh, a train robbery. I don't think I've ever seen one of these. Less authority, not good. All migration attraction and, and radicals. Yeah, it's not that significant, the authority loss here. So that's okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, small arms production. If we were to be looking at the arms production here, we could go for repeating rifles. It would be not a great choice, though. Um, but that being said, I think if we were to be going to these things... Oh, paper mills. You do have another production process. More paper, but less dye. We don't have dye. Improved fertilizer. Let's quickly check on stuff down here. Westphalia. 
Tesla for some reason doesn't use water tubes. Yeah, but arms industries. Silesia Brandenburg. Brandenburg, if you guys do use rifles. Yeah, we can use... That's going to be better. It's simply going to be better. Also, it means that you're using capitalists now, which does increase the, the number of the industrialists. It's not crucial because uh, they are above 20%, but it's still nice because more of these people are going to mean more income here. And as you can see, we're actually starting to gain a little bit more money here, even as we are producing stuff. So let's quickly take a look at our colonies and make sure that they are doing fine. Yeah, qualifications are still a big issue here. But you know what? Slowly but surely, people should start to convert. The university is going to help with that, so I'm not too concerned there. Seems to be doing fine here. How's our colony in Africa doing? Probably a lot worse, but eh. Five plantations. You guys actually have enough people. And we are producing a number of dye here. A number of dye? Some dye? An amount of dye? I don't know. Right, let's put that up. Should be A-OK. -okay. What else are we going to produce? Well, I guess anything that we have a shortage of, right? That means more wood. We are producing... Are we building up wood? Even if we are, it's not going to be enough. Alsace, how are you looking? Yeah, your logging camps are maxed out. We still have a lot of unemployed people here. How is steel looking? Are we making enough steel? Still a shortage there. But there's a short shortage of sort of everything else too, including iron. I think we are neglecting iron a little bit. Resources, iron then. Probably Silesia is the biggest one. Well, Westphalia, we don't really have enough enough stuff there. So I think it's going to be Alsace where we're going to build up our iron fact uh, iron mines factories. So nine more iron mines. Yeah, we don't have enough peasants to be dealing with that. You know what? Let's build that up a lot more actually. Nineteen. So how much infrastructure are you using? Three or something? No, two. So that's about 40 more infrastructure usage. Yes. So that's two more railways. <coughs> there we go. Should fill that up nicely. And again, you know what? Our money is coming in so nicely here um, that we're actually going to go with what we usually do and increase our capacity. And it's, it's really nice to see that snowballing out of control. Wood and iron, yeah. Let's no, no, no. That's not what I mean at all. I meant to look at our logging camps. Unhard is producing everything that it can. One of the best places would be Westphalia, but again, we don't have the enough enough people there to to be working that. Yeah, I'm guessing West Prussia. No, 18. Silesia. Again, Silesia has other concerns too. We are hitting the... The end there. West Prussia, we can do that, I guess. It's not, a, it's not super useful. Oh, look at that. We are pretty much at zero now. Pharmaceuticals unlocked. That's, that's nice. We can look for stuff there. Certain things are missing down here. Die. Yeah, I'm guessing we will need to trade for that. Queen has a lot of that stuff. But it would use a lot of convoys too. We can ask the British for fewer convoys. That's not enough. Well, let's ask the British. Oh, we should see that the glasswork is now going to be much better. Yeah, just look at just look at these two stacks of gold here, which means that's really way too expensive. But you can see the prices are coming down now, so that's good. Good, 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 good. I like that. Right. 
how's our uh, situation looking here? So we were at at a fourteen. Sometimes I I really dislike how quickly this is going. Okay, yeah, we are we are closing in on France slowly, but just because they're growing too. But you know what? I think it's okay. Good. Iron mines are being built. Building capacity is being used. Mostly for resources here. What's the shortage? Sugar? Yeah, I'm guessing sugar. There are not that many sources of sugar. We can use the rye farms to be using apple orchids instead of potatoes. But that would mean less liquor. And it's not actually that much fruit that we are producing. Oh, sorry, sugar. Just 150. What we could be using, though, is more food industries, which do use more distilleries. Are we using them all in the same way? Yes, we are. What sort of furniture works here? Unhugged. You're using mechanized workshops? You aren't. Why not? Do it. It means more wood, but still, furniture is is, is an important thing. Right, and you guys, crystallized glass. It is like that. It's it's just not displaying that correctly. So Brandenburg, if you were to use crystallized glass, yeah, more glass, more lab, more qualified people. I like that. Tooling workshop. We could be using fewer people. Makes some sense, but I think only once we're starting to uh, get into some shortages, really. And now I completely lost my train of thought. What, 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 else, what, what was I looking for? Producing too few small arms. The arms industries aren't doing that great. And again, our arms factories in North Rhine, we're really specializing them to be artillery platforms. Yes, we do have too little in terms of artillery, 100 and 130. Could use repeating rifles here. That would actually mean a downsizing that. And I want to be in a peace position. At, at least I want to fulfill these orders, right? Are we exporting stuff? Yes, a lot of this is actually exporting stuff. Are we taxing that correctly? Trade routes, artillery. Let's tax that a little bit more. How about small arms? You know what? It might make sense in peace to be to be a little bit more lenient on exports, but in in wartime actually decrease that a little bit. But for now, this is all right. Let's briefly see whether we are seeing a drop in demand here. Due to our increased tariffs, so fewer people will import that. Very minimally so, so at least build that up a little bit. But we will also need, I think, just a small arms industry as well. That's separate from this one. Just so we can fine tune a little bit more our ratio between artillery and small arms. I think that place is Brandenburg. We, I think it also makes sense. Just Brandenburg has such a huge population base. As, well, I'm, I'm saying that, but we don't actually have that many peasants over here. We might realign some of this stuff here over time. But I think it's okay for now. 20. Oh, that should be doable. So, you guys, if we were to be using repeating rifles here, no, we're just going to increase the number of, of stuff that's being produced here. Cannons or no cannons at all? We're going to keep it for now as is. That should give us more small arms. Fabric, also an issue. And I, th I think it's something that we can just use import for now. Austria is maybe not the best place. I do like importing from Russia. Oops. Oil explosion. Industrialists. Yes, I think I like them. Ooh, 
And we did catch the Ripper already. That's very annoying. Because that is going to give us more authority. Yes. Popularity? Mm, no, nope, we got the bastard. That's, that's good. Good enough for me. Right, that being said, I think... Let's take a brief look here at the technology. So that's going to take only four years left. And then we can, I think, go against Austria. Looks good to me. Last thing that we're going to do is check on Westphalia. Steel mills. You are short 7,000 people here. And I think we've done everything that we can to increase your people there. So we can actually maybe reduce the barracks a little bit. Get more people into jobs. We could reduce the construction sector here. How many people are actually employed by that? It's not completely insignificant, isn't it? That should give us a lot more people here to be working in the steel mills. And steel mills do make a lot of money. It's not incredible productivity, but that's also because just the input prices are chronically expensive. But yeah, it looks fine. Yeah, and our economic growth here is fantastic, actually. Uh, last thing that we're going to check is to see... We're middling. That's good. That's good. Um, how are our pops paying? And what are they paying for? Clothing and liquor are actually significant expenditures. Wine, too. But wine we can't do much about without increasing the grain supply. Luxury furniture is an issue. It's interesting, actually, that a lot of people are... that Luxury furniture is such a big uh, item that people are buying. Hmm. But yeah, clothing. So I think Casa is, is due for a, another round of investments. Well, I guess we could just use this. But again, more dye, more fabric. We don't really have the base material for that kind of thing. But you know what? With that, I think it is a good place to put in a cut. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and let's see whether probably next time we're going to start to play against the Austrians. That's going to have to wait a little bit. See you then. Bye bye guys.